the 18th of uh, October. Now, next part, I want to talk a bit is about the monetary policy of the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia because there are some changes so far. Um, the, the, the new Reserve Bank of Australia's governor first policy meeting was to keep rates unchanged. Okay, I missed out the governor's word over here. However, there was a sentence in the minutes which can be interpreted in a hawkish manner. Okay, it reads, the board has a low tolerance for a slower return of inflation to target than currently expected. Now, this, this is a very hawkish statement. When you see this, that means there is this possibility some changes might come. Okay. And uh, all this while, you know, like the, the Australian news, we put it on the sideline already because before that, the RBA governor, the previous one, it was like, okay, I think we have done enough. But this, this new governor and his team has a different view. Okay, so statements like this, then straight away, you know, news like CPI, jobs, data announcement would be significant once again. And also, if you look into Australia, then you have to look into the housing, housing, you know, stats, those kind of areas, especially Australia. So from, from we are not watching to now, we have to go and look back again because of this comment. Now, the jobs market in Australia so far remains tight with unemployment hovering in the 3.4% to 3.7% range in uh, year 2023. And even if I take the 3.7% as the highest, it's still lower than 2022. That means job data remain, uh, the jobs market there remains very strong. Okay, so we need to see more. So it, like the US, you know, as long as jobs are strong, people can afford this kind of things. Yeah, then possibly we might see another rate hike there in Australia. Okay, based on the comments. Now, the year-on-year -year inflation rate saw an increase of 0.3%, uh, from 4.9 jumping to 5.2, which suggests that next inflation report due to due next week, uh, next week we will have one, will play a crucial role in determining whether the RBA will restart its tightening cycle. So that it's very crucial. Next week, this data will create a lot of volatility for the RBA the CPI data. So any signs, any signs at all, uh, oops, sorry, we jumped up. Any signs uh, of uh, possible rate hike would see the Australian dollar strengthening once again. Okay, so you have to watch out this particular thing. So these are the two updates that we have seen and I think it's uh, important for everybody to know that's coming up for the first the cryptocurrency especially the bitcoin and the australian dollar when you if you're trading it okay so that's the report fundamental report for today let's move on to the charts because there are a lot of things that are uh, developments that we have seen so far